Hello students, welcome to my channel, myself Arpita Paul and I am back again with another new video and today you will learn how to use if else statement in the programming. So let's start the video. So the first thing you need to know what is if else statement. So if else statements are used to check any condition and depending on the outcome of the condition we can follow appropriate path. So basically for checking any condition we will use if else statement and as per the outcome of the condition we will execute a appropriate path or appropriate statement okay so the outcome of the condition will be either true or false so as per that outcome we will execute the proper statement in the if else statement part okay so let's see the syntax of the if else so how we will write so we will write like this, we will write if, then within bracket we will provide the condition, okay. Then within second curly braces we will provide our statement part. That means as per the condition, whatever we want to perform, that statement we will write here. The statement can be more than one line or a single line also, okay. So if the condition is true, then only it will execute this statement, okay. If the condition is false, then what will happen? then this if part will not be executed then it will go to the else statement and it will execute the statement part of the else part okay now how we will write this statement part of the else so here also we will use second uh, curly braces and within the braces we will write the statements okay and if this given condition is false then only this statement part will be executed okay so this is very simple to write and uh, very easy to write also and i am providing you a very simple example of if else how we can write it so here in the example we will take two values and we will compare those two values to get the larger number so here we are writing if a greater than b then we are checking if the value of a is greater than b or not okay so a and b both are different variables here and both are having different values too now if the value of a is greater than b if the condition is true then it will execute this statement and the statement is system dot out dot print length a is larger than b run when condition is true if the condition is false if the a is lesser than b then what will happen then it will go to the else part and it will execute this statement system dot out dot print length b is larger than a okay run when condition is false so as per the given condition we can understand what statement will be printed okay and it will be totally dependent on the condition given here okay so let me show you with another important example which is one of the important program also okay so see here in blue j i have written one program and the program is write a java program to accept a number and check whether it is an even number or odd number so basically we will input or accept a number and then we will check if the number is even number or odd number this is very easy so how to write let's start let me show you so first thing i am doing importing the java.util package why because we are using scanner class to accept the number okay if you don't know how to use scanner class or how to create scanner class objects then please go through my scanner class video the link i am providing in the description box okay so then public class test then within the class we are writing public static void main string args this is the main method after that within the main method we are creating the object of one scanner class so scanner space sc equals to new scanner system dot in so sc is the object of the scanner class okay now we are writing system dot out dot print and enter the number for even odd checking so this is a statement we are printing after which we will enter the value so for taking the input we are uh, initializing and declaring the variable a so we are using the variable a which is an integer type that is why we have written int a equals to sc dot next in so int a here is the variable and the data type is int and sc is the scanner class object then separating with the dot operator we are 
using the next int method of the scanner class to input the integer type value and then we are storing it inside the variable a so now we have to check the number is even or odd so for the even number checking we know a number is called even if it is divisible by 2 okay and automatically the rest of the numbers are odd numbers okay so we will check if a mod 2 equals to equals to 0 so why we will write this this percentage sign is the modular operator which I have explained in my operators video. The operators uh, video link is also provided in the description box. So, please go through that operators video for the details. So, purpose of this modular operator is to return the remainder. So, if a number is divisible by 2, then the remainder will be 0. That is why we are keeping the checking that a mod 2 equals to equals to 0. This purpose of this equals to equals to sign is to check both side values are equal or not. So, if the number is divisible by 2, then the outcome will be 0. So, 0 equals to equals to 0. If it is true, then it will print the statement system.out.println. It is an even number. Then separating with plus sign, it will print the number also. Same way, if the number is not divisible by 2, then the remainder will be 1. So, 1 equals to equals to 0. No, it will not satisfy. So, it will go to the else part and then it will print system.out.println. It is an odd number and then it will print the number also. Okay. So, this is how you can write the program for even odd checking. Okay. So, let me show you the output. Before that, let me compile the program. So, class compiled, no syntax error. Now, I am running the program get the output see in the output, output screen it is showing enter the number for even odd checking so i am entering the number i am entering 5 which is an odd number so the output will be it is an odd number and 5 okay you can see so let me show you another example for even number So, enter the number for even or checking. So, I am providing now 10. So, 10 is an even number. So, if we press enter, we will get it is an even number and the value is 10. Okay. So, this is how very easily you can do even or checking. Okay. So, thank you class. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, like the video, share the video and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the notification. Thank you.